Hello and welcome to First Baptist Church Sweetwater's Midweek Conversation, our first episode of the summer. I'm here with my good friend T. Campbellton. Is it officially summer? Yes. Or is it just school's ended? It's June. It's hot. <laughs> and it's going to be hotter. It is. In my book, it's summer. It's supposed to hit 107 this week. No. Here? Mm-hmm. I didn't think you ever checked check the weather. I didn't until you told me it was going to be 103 <laughs> Sunday. Okay. And so I looked at it last night and it said 107 <laughs> on Tuesday. I was like, oh my. There you go. Well, it's summertime. That's what I was saying. Yeah. See? I'm trying to mess with my intro. <laughs> Anyways, we've been working on stuff for summer. Speaking of summer, I, we have. You and Lisa have been working on some P3 Live. Yep. Getting it ready. Uh, got all the shirts yesterday and got them handed out to the adults and we'll start... Uh, preparing and getting everything videoed and all that studio where studio yeah where's gonna be the studio for this outdoors it's p3 oh there you go p3 live it's gonna be outside awesome so mp3 is our weekly uh or no our summer ministry that's like a vacation bible school type thing in the park that we take to different parks parks in the community it'll start monday june 29th Mm mm-hmm and it'll go through Thursday. All right, and it's going to air what time of the day? Uh, it'll go our normal time, so it'll it'll take off at five thirty is when we normally start. So five thirty six somewhere in there. Are we gonna have chicken nuggets one night? Well, I will. <laughs> we do have snacks and, each and day. water burger afterward. Yes, <laughs> we do have snacks each day. Uh, Janice McDowell <laughs> and Judy Welch are going to be doing our snacks for us, and so it's going to be fun. We got some good ideas. I'm intrigued. Me too. It's going to be fun. <laughs> okay. I want those dinosaur nuggets. Those are my favorite. Dino nuggets or frozen yeah. nuggets. Yeah. What's frozen? Nu- oh, frozen. <laughs> From the movie Frozen. Obviously, the nuggets are frozen. Yes. Okay. Until we eat them. You tricked me on that one. You were the one that originated that. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I only recently took that off my gr- my list for sand. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's probably inside information, and everyone's thoroughly confused. That's all right. They our, can our vast audience in the is comments. Thoroughly confused. Let us know. And we'll explain. Wait, I know. Let's pause and go on. Okay. <laughs> See, I was wondering how we'd work in a pause today because I really had nothing for a pause. We start a new series on Sunday. Cool. Because we've been in We Are Church. What do we start? <laughs> We're going to be in the Gospel of Matthew for at least three weeks. Okay. And then the last Sunday in June will be the 28th, and that will be P3 Sunday. Okay. And the theme verse for that is? John 10.10, 10, and we're going to look at what it means to live life abundant. It'll be uh, a good Bible study for us during that week, and so that'll be the text on that Sunday. So a different kind of feel for the June. Uh, I say as if there is a feel th- for anything uh, in this culture, but uh, in this pandemic culture. But uh, we will move into that and kind of get that going, and then we'll transition from that P3 Sunday into the rest of the summer. But yep. this today week, we yeah. would have left for pilgrimage today. It's uh, also Raizel's birthday. Happy birthday, Raizel. Shout out. She would have gone with us on pilgrimage. There you go. So, Well, it's a lot of... A lot of stuff coming up in terms of uh, our worship service. We had our first gathering on Sunday uh, for our gathering at the worship center, mm-hmm. and uh, everything seemed to come come together well as we kind of segued into the transition. Uh, this week will be, I don't want to say fully transitioned, uh, because I think as we've talked about it, there's still a lot of experimenting that we have to do uh, in, in putting this together and making it attractive. Uh, for the live stream audience uh, as well as the the folks who show up on a Sunday. But uh, it's real easy to navigate on Sunday. Uh, Teague did a good job laying things out in our uh, worship center for spacing and everything else. It's pretty minimalistic, uh, I'd say. Mm -hmm. It would be a good word to attach to that. And... uh, but it's still a, a. It was still good to see faces in there on yeah. the on the bottom floor, <laughs> or from the balcony, see the the tops of heads. Right, <laughs> yeah. felt like the good old days of taking so, yeah. attendance. Teeks in the balcony during worship. I'm on stage during worship. Mm-hmm. So that's those two perspectives we just dropped on you there. But uh, this Sunday is uh, great. The Great Commission. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're using the le- the lectionary text. Uh, for these next three weeks, and it all kind of revolves around the sending uh, or commissioning and sending uh, of the disciples into different places, and which I think it was some hesitant hesitancy on my part 
to go ahead with that series knowing that we're in sort of a weird place to understand mm-hmm. <laughs> going forth yeah um, did you say that this Sunday's Trinity Sunday yes that's what it's called in the mm-hmm. lectionary Trinity Sunday it makes sense yeah uh, and it makes sense because because we just had Pentecost Sunday when the Holy Spirit arrives and now you've got a picture of the Trinity there you go so you uh, the I, I wondered if that would come up in our conversation today you, have, you, you get to sense, and that's, we, we talked, I realized a couple of weeks ago, we talked a good bit about lectionary. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you Google lectionary, then you can find that information and kind of see the pattern that Teek and I talk about frequently. But the good part to that is, is that you do see, f- when you recognize those emphasis, mm-hmm. and, and we don't necessarily, I think you and I do in our conversations and the way that we build uh, our series, but uh, you see the progression there. It's one of those uh, frameworks there right around uh, Pentecost where you do see that all kind of coming together and the different celebrations and, re- and emphasis that you would have in understanding uh, the significance of Holy Spirit one week and then Trinity uh, the following week. Right, and right before that, Ascension Sunday. Right. I, I couldn't think of that Three one, yeah. Sundays yeah. that we really probably wouldn't talk about much if it weren't for the lectionary. Right, and so, and then... We have used those texts uh, this year. Mm-hmm. I don't know that we always that I always choose those texts that relate to that specifically, but uh, that that's still those are the as far as the sequence of days. Uh, that that's the emphasis that we're in. Yeah, the only other one that's kind of maybe not odd. That's a weird word to use. Would be Transfiguration Sunday. Like those yeah. those four Sundays are ones that probably wouldn't work their way into a regular preaching calendar. If it weren't for the lectionary text to pull right. out, because they are important, and the more you use them, as difficult as they can be to approach at times, the more you realize how they fit in the calendar and how important they are to the church. Right. And then uh, the series after uh, P3 Sunday is still kind of up in the air. Uh, we talked about it a lot yesterday, trying to figure out uh, the original plan was kind of scrapped once we started sheltering and everything mm-hmm. was changed. And uh, so I'm still working on some of that uh, to see how we continue because the lectionary this summer would lead you naturally through the Gospel of Matthew. Right. And so one of the thoughts that I had was moving through those passages that are in lectionary that we've not already covered during my tenure here. So that's that's one way that I'm looking at it. Mm -hmm. Uh, But for sure, I thought it'll be good. I don't even... Like using the Great Commission on Sunday, uh, which is in Matthew 28, you don't, I reference it a lot, but I don't think it's been my primary text, but only one time in hmm. five and a half years here. So um, that's, but again, that that's one of the key passages. And I thought kind of helps us, even though it's in a, a time with a pandemic time that's a little different in terms of the way that we can uh, make application personally. Um, I think sometimes maybe the best decisions we made make are those when we spend time in isolation right. or solitude. Uh, maybe if we just change those words for the next uh, few days, that might help us to kind of uh, recapture some of the, the spiritual significance of of the time that we're in and the difference that we can make as we learn to to share the kingdom with people. Right. Just because we're sheltered in place and we've not been meeting in the worship center doesn't mean that the Great Commission has changed. Exactly. And you've said Very that good every point. you've said that every week or pretty consistently that God's message has probably been shared more widely over the last two and a half months, ten weeks, thirteen weeks, whatever it is because of technology and things like that and people being drawn to that because on Sunday mornings if you're looking at all at Facebook it's lit up with all your friends churches uh, doing worship and things like that so it's getting out there right and uh, we were <coughs> talking uh, with I talked to several pastors each week just to see how they're doing and kind of hear how they're progressing towards regathering and, and that conversation came up about the early days of, of sheltering when we first all first went live stream uh, the different problems that people had uh, hmm. with the systems, uh, and and f- who would have ever thought that Facebook would have been the rescue for churches, for individuals? It's played right. a, a huge role uh, during this pandemic time. So you know, just uh, 10, 15 years ago, uh, or even when I was like growing up, if this had have happened, the best you could do would be the old school tape ministries 
where the the pastor would record you, it. Old um, school tape ministry teach? There is some of our audience that might be watching this that doesn't know what a tape is. They've okay. never known anything but CDs at best. Um, but they would, you know, I can remember the white tapes. You would put your little sticker on them. You would write uh, who preached the sermon and what the passage was. And then that would get passed around by the, usually the shut-ins at the time. But that's kind of what you would probably have to do. You would just record it and pass it around. But now, Facebook, YouTube. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah. And it's all right there. In your ears, in your face, however you however you want to receive it. Some people right now are going, I remember tapes. <laughs> and some people are going, I remember eight tracks. And others are going, what, eight tracks? Did they only have eight songs? I know. And never mind. <laughs> I, won't go, I won't get into some of that stuff. But uh, now we're fortunate that we have these vehicles to, to share with folks. Mm-hmm. And uh the, like like I said, reemphasize that there we will be experimenting Sunday with the way that we do some of this, and in the following Sundays as we kind of evaluate each week uh, who our audience is and how it is that they they listen best or participate best right. with us. So, yeah. anyways, it ought to be a good Sunday. We're looking forward to uh, another part of the adventure because for sure. Uh, a part of the, what we've talked about each week as we've gathered is that every Sunday is new, almost almost like every day is new, right. not knowing information and stuff uh, that's changing around us. But uh, we'll uh, we'll push into this new series. It's called Go, and I think that will give us a, dir- a good directive uh, as we think about our life in this time and uh, as we come out of this uh, in terms of our responsibility. So. I'm looking forward to it, jumping into the Great Commission on Sunday, and uh, then following up with that, those lectionary texts on the, on the subsequent Sunday. So anyways, as always, I look forward to seeing this guy on Sunday, and uh, maybe we'll see you as well. Or you'll see us. True. <laughs> <laughs>